Media Master 6 can now work directly with Novastar LED mapping hardware and software. Mapping files from Novastar Smart LCT can now be imported directly into the Media Master 6 video mapper with surfaces already created. First, we'll open Novastar Smart LCT. This software is free for Mac and PC on the Novastar website. We've created a simple configuration. One controller, an MCTRL 4K, and three screens with different resolutions connected to outputs 1, 2, and 3. For the purposes of this demo, we're doing that offline as we are not currently connected to a controller from Novastar. You can see that the name of the device is MCTRL 4K and we have output 1, 2, and 3. So we created those three screens. Once your mapping is complete, go to Save As and save the project. I'll save that on the desktop and call it Demo. The file type is .srcx, which is the standard Novastar project file. You can now close the Novastar software. First, let's look at what we have connected to our system. We have several outputs connected. One is an HDR screen, and the other is an actual Novastar processor, which is connected through HDMI. Now in Media Master, let's open the Video Mapper by selecting Edit, Video Mapper. Here you can see we have a Novastar controller and another screen. Now we'll go to File, Import Smart LCT Project, Navigate to the desktop, select the demo file and click Open. A new window will open asking which controller should be attached to which screens. You can see that we have a few screens. From the Novastar mapping file, Media Master found that we have one controller called A1 MCTRL 4K. That was the name of the controller in the Novastar software. So that controller must be attached to the Nova HDMI. We'll select None for the A2 output. Select the controller for the A3 Novastar HDMI output and press OK. You can see that now, three surfaces are generated. Each corresponds to the screens created earlier in the Novastar software. The surfaces will automatically take the screen name and the number of the output of the LED controller. If we zoom in, you can see that we have a surface for the right screen, one for the small screen, one surface for the top screen, and underneath everything, we have what is called a global surface. That global surface will take the whole output resolution of all the screens that are created together into the Smart LCT. All imported surfaces are of course still editable, and new surfaces can be added.